Hello everyone, this is Zora Water. Welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Wind Breaker HD. In the last episode, I have absolutely no idea because it's been a while since I recorded. However, I do know that we stopped by Gale Island, or Gale Isle, whatever this is called, so that we may talk with the late, um, Wind Sage. In this episode, we're not gonna actually tackle the temple first. Instead, what I plan on doing, unfortunately, is, uh, taking out as much as the um, these islands as, as I can. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to tackle the first two upper rows on the map as much as I can. For any islands that I've completely completed and I never have to go back, I will have a big ol' X mark on this map thing that I probably have on the screen right now. Unfortunately, <laughs> our first stop, the Forsaken Fortress, I don't have the treasure chart for that area. So instead, we're gonna stop by Star Island real quick. So I will meet you guys over there. Ho ho! Ho ho no! No no, I forgot about you. Alright, so here we are at Star Island. There's not really anything vastly important, but I forgot to mention there's actually a blue choo-choo somewhere on this island. However, I was too heavily distracted by, um, are you guys gonna come over here? You guys gonna come over here? Apparently you guys aren't. Anyways, there is a blue chew jelly. Oh god. Get out of my way! There's a blue ch chew jelly here, and so we can pick up his blue chew freaking jelly if you don't die to these mini blends. Anyways, that's all I want to do on Star Island. That's everything I want to do on Star Island. However, I'm not counting the Wither Tree when I'm trying to complete the island, and there's a good reason why. The quest, the side quest that starts this stupid quest. Here we go. Okay. You know what? Out. 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 King of Red Lions, get out of here. Okay. 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 So, what do I deem... Mouth. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm trying to tag out as much of these islands as possible. I'm gonna try to clear out the island as much as I can. However, I will not count the fact that there is a withered tree there. If I if there is a ring of light that should be there, but can only be there if I open up a specific treasure chart, and I don't have that treasure chart. Like say for instance, no, I already got the treasure right here. I can't I can't say that. Say for instance, I go to Windfall, and there is a there's supposed to be a ring of light there. If I do not have that treasure chart to make the ring of light appear it's not going to appear unless i get that chart which is probably on some other island if that's the case i'm going to skip that over i'm not going to go to that island no i'm going to go to the island regardless i'm going to clear out as much as i can of the island except for that treasure chest ring of light whatever because i need to get the treasure chart from a different island and then i can do that at the very end I'm not going to count the Wither Trees, like I said, because that starts at the Forest Haven. I'm going to Forest Haven way later, but yeah, that's where it starts, and I'm not going to do that until, like, the very end of the game. So, I think that's all I have to say. Oh, I'm not counting the uh, Triforce Shards and or Chart, because that's, the game requires that anyways, so there's not really much point in doing it here and now. I was going to do it after the temple, so yeah. I'm gonna try to get through as much as I can. If uh I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Anyways, I'm heading towards the west or east. I can, I'm also gonna derp out a lot, and I apologize profusely, but I've never 100 percent this game. All of this is new to me, despite the fact that I read the Wind Waker guidebook as so much the point is kind of fraying on the edges. Like, I would flip through it every, every, as much as I can. I, I can't even speak words anymore. That, that's how, like, annoyed, frustrated, tired I am. I, th if, the, the thing is, even if I try to re-record this at some other point, it's probably going to be, be the same thing, and I'll never update Wind Waker if that's the case. And I should power through this. I, I, I need to give this game a chance. I need to transverse the world. And I should explore it as much as I can because I did the horrible, horrible, <laughs> I mean joyful, I mean horrible case of not actually going to these islands and some of these islands I've never been to before and only have seen in the guidebook. And all of my talking, I've actually entered the next quadrant. Well, um, I should probably pull out my bait. 
So yeah, I'm probably gonna be like a horrible, horrible mess during these side quests because I've never done them before. I do, however, have a list of I of the islands as well as ooh, ooh. You see that off in the distance? That's something creepy. That's something awesome. That is something I cannot actually counter um interact with right now. So, this is the island right next to Gale Island, and we have sharks. So the first thing, right off the bat, right here. Oh snap! I got it. Okay, so here we have a treasure chest, which you can get with a certain treasure chart. Um, I don't think it's ultimately important for me to write down like what treasure chart equals to what island, such and such forth. Because all of this is very optional. I'm just doing it just because I should actually try to go to these islands. Now here is the ghost ship. This is the ghost ship. If we could get close to it, because I didn't actually realize it myself. Music place. However, if we get close to it as we are now, it's gonna disappear and we can't really do anything about it. So that's one of the things. This only appears on a... Where is the moon? Where is the moon? Where is the moon? The moon's being blocked out. It appears in a full moon and... Unfortunately, we, we can't do anything about it. We also have these spots here. Don't know why. Not at all. I would like, however, to know where the fish man is. I think I saw him over here. Maybe. No, that's a ring of light. Lovely! I'm going to go find the fish man, guys. I will be right back. Holy small fry! You look like you've been beaten the crap out of by. I can't English anymore. Oh, well! You best be careful sailing these waters on nights when the moon is full. Well, if you if you like pure soul freezing horror dry fry, then maybe you can handle it. And with all the info I got to offer, it's kind of too late because we already saw what you were most afraid of. Anyways, uh, um, yeah, during these side quest missions or missions, during these side quest videos, I should probably stop and collect my thoughts. During these side quest videos. I am going to be an absolute mess, probably. Nothing, 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 nothing is going to change this at all. The reason being, I've never visited half of these islands before. I never bothered to stop at them while I surf by. And even though I say I'm organized and I have a notepad on my computer and I'm looking at my computer to see what I need to do on each island, there's one thing that the Zora can't do quite well that's... Some of Zora's friends know. Zora's not very good at multitasking. Zora doesn't do multitasking very well. So if I'm like being a complete and utter mess and I'm freaking out and I stop speaking proper English, mix up my words, that means Zora's having a slight breakdown because of multitasking. <laughs> So I apologize in advance if that happens. I'm trying to be the most organized I can be, but unfortunately that's not going to be the case. Anyways, we have this old man with the telescope here. Where, where is it? Where, oh, I see it. Over there. So basically over there he's looking at the submarine, which is in this quadrant. Which is where we're going to go next, and I'm going to probably repeat words because I am I'm going to throw my gamepad at my wall because I did not mean to do that. Yeah, Zora's going to be pretty frustrated half the time I'm here as well. So, anyways, yeah, that's the dealio. Zora can't multitask, so I'm going to probably be saying stupid stuff, being a stupid derp, unable to speak proper English, and thus inventing the new language of Zora English, in which case... Zora can't multitask. Or remember how to get off the boat. Anyways, here is the submarine. What is in the submarine? Well, <laughs> unfortunately, I already recorded this episode, but it was such a mess. I, I had, I had no choice. I had no choice but telling myself I had to re-record this because it was such an awful mess, and I hated it. Oh God. 
Uh, unfortunately, it's not. This is not only gonna make it a little bit better, but it's still not gonna make it completely better. Anyways, I'm gonna stop complaining because I need to kill some mini blends. The one thing I hate more than my own um God, what's the word? My uh. See, it's already starting now. I can't remember. I can't even. I can't even. I can't even speak anymore. Exactly. This is exactly what happened last time. God. I'm gonna stop complaining about myself and in my entire being and instead going to complain about these mini blends because I freaking hate mini blends. These annoying little derps that keep on coming out from God knows where. Oh God, I just want to stab each and every one with a sword and five and ten and a deck leaf in the eye. Maybe throwing a bomb or two or three or shield. Maybe, maybe, I know. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. God, ladder. God, ladder. Ladder, ladder, ladder. Ladder, ladder, ladder. Treasure chest! Okay, so, we got the treasure chart. Yay! Hooray! Let me out of here. Now. Haha, <laughs> get me out. What the? What? Uh. Okay, glitch through the submarine for all I care. Anyways, yeah, yep. it's gonna look a little something like that. The only other thing- oh wait, crap! I need to go back to the island, crud! Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, where's that island? Where's that island? You see, you see, you see? Stuff like this. I'm gonna frick- I'm gonna freaking mess up because I cannot multitask for the life of me and I don't feel like changing my wind direction right now. Get used to this, it's gonna happen a lot. Go away, Georg shark thing. I can't multitask, anyways. On the actual island, there's actually two things we can do, and those are the last things on the island. I don't really know what these bases are. Probably like if you break them open, they'll drop a rupee or something, I'm not quite sure. So on this island, there are two things, and only two things, and then we're finished with this island. Number one, get off the boat and get on the island. It's actually a really pretty, very buried island, and I kind of wish it was bigger, but whatever. Here we have a treasure chest and some. I didn't think I could kill it. Two jellies. There are two! I didn't mean to do that, but okay. There are two two jellies. Two blue two jellies. There is also a treasure chest. What is in the treasure chest? Well, let me open it and I'll show you. We have a treasure chart. And with that, that completes Crescent Moon Island. So, we're gonna go on ahead and get on to the next island, which I shall do the favor for you guys and skip over it because, uh, uh or skip over the, tr uh, words. Words, or Words. I will skip the boat ride to the next fisherman. Okay? Okay. I'll be right back. Now, um, first thing, we entered the quadrant. In this specific area, because I should probably tackle this before I get too close to the island. Assuming I can find it again. Somewhere in this lower left region of the island, or of the quadrant, there is circling seagulls. Circling seagulls equates big octorok. I did it again. Crap. No! A uh, big octo. Here's the problem. I don't know where to find them. I know the general area, which is on the lower left part of the quadrant. But I don't remember where it was, even though I just fought it, like, maybe 20 minutes ago. Give me a moment. Found them. They're over this way, actually. Around this general area. You see them off in the distance? Yeah, get used to this. Anyways. Here we have the big octo. It is not the Octorok! I should probably pull out my boomerang, actually. C can I? Oh, I need to hurry. Crap, crap, crap. Here, big Octo! Second one that we have taken out thus far. Unfortunately, I have to say, th this thing does not drop a fairy. 
As I said, that big octo rock from before. Uh, big octo from before is the only one that drops a berry. Jeez, I'm just gonna be calling them Big Octorox from now on because I can never remember their proper names. What the frick? I still don't understand why their eye, their dead eye is glowing blue. The GameCube version, they had black eyes and they looked very much dead. In this game, they decided to make it creepy level even more by making them glowing in blue. Why? Why game? Why? <laughs> Boomerang. Boom. Okay, there we go. So yeah, there's not really much else to do, but literally just use your boomerang, use a gyroscope. If, if you don't have the Wii U gamepad, no, you have to have the Wii U gamepad. If you don't, if you don't, ah, if you use the Wii U Pro Controller instead of the gamepad, you're not gonna have the gyroscope if it wasn't obvious. So yeah, I, there's one eye left, isn't there? There is one. Boom. So weird! Those glowing eyes, man! Okay, so instead of dropping a fairy like the one before, because I said it's not gonna drop a fairy, stop repeating myself, me. Uh, they're gonna just spawn a ring of light. From that ring of light is usually good rewards if I can properly find it. There we go. So what did this big octo drop? He dropped another piece of heart. We have three so far, we need one more. So that does about it for that corner. The only thing else left on this island, oh dear, tornado! Ah. If you actually get caught by the tornadoes, it's just going to turn your boat around. It's not going to send you somewhere else. The only thing left in this, uh, quadrant island thingamajigger things is the sea platforms, which contain minor rewards, question mark? Actually, no, I think one of them actually contains a legit reward. And there's also a bunch of ring of lights around the island over there somewhere in the distance. Somewhere. Which contain- oh! Hi! 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 Which contain rupees. Lots of rupees, and honestly, I don't really care. Now, just to save up on some time for now, I am not going to, uh... First, I need to grab this. Darn it. I am not going to... get the fishmen in these islands. I'm just gonna... Well, if I pass by and I, and I see the fishmen, I will grab the fishmen. However, if I don't, I'm just gonna put in the end slate of the videos, because I honestly cannot be asked to do it anymore. Go away, Wizrobe! I do not like you guys! Where are you, where are you, where are you, where are you? Eh! There we go. I really don't like this. Oh, he's over there. There's no way I can reach him. I missed! That's, that's very sad. There you are! Okay, so after you kill those four whiz robes, then, um, I am saying that right. Whiz robes? Whiz robes. Anyways, there's three treasure chests. In this one, over here, I think it was very minor. I can't remember. Yeah, very minor. It's a golden feather, which I should be collecting. I don't know how much I have, but those are going to be needed for Dragon Roost later. In this middle chest, which I think is the most important one. Okay, maybe not. We have a red rupee. <laughs> I could have swore one of these chests actually had something pretty important, but I could be wrong. Because Zora is at a complete... Oh! Okay, so I'm not complete derp. And we have a treasure chart. Alright, so that, uh, that does about it for the island. I feel like my words somehow got mixed up when I actually didn't mean to. Haha! <laughs> Haha! Anyways, we are gonna continue on to the next island. Which I can only do one thing because the other thing requires something from the Wind Temple and I don't have it. So yeah, meet you guys there in just a moment. 
Hi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, small fry. Do you know about the Golden Triumph Box? It's there, I tell ya. On that island. A genuine article. But the cliff there rises sharply, and even if you want to climb it, there aren't any ledges or footings for you to grab onto. So, what are you going to do, Small Fry? That's all the info I got to offer as my gamepad proceeds to die off in the corner. Well. Whoops. Anyways, um, one of the things that actually requires us to be on that island, the only problem is the item we need is in the Wind Temple. So the only thing I can really do is, uh, well, actually. No. The only thing I can do is just grab the treasure chart, which I actually don't know which of these, uh, treasure charts it is. I was actually contemplating whether or not to just skip this island entirely, but I already told myself that if I don't have a, tre a treasure chart for a specific island, I'm not gonna go there. However, I do have the treasure chart for this specific island, and there's only one other- well, two other things you can count the Triforce shard, which I assume is what the fishman was talking about. Um... I might as well just get this over just because it's here. Here is the secret cave chart, which I shall show on the screen right now. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go pick up my gamepad charger. You guys are really bad at aiming, you know that, right? I'm going to go pick up my gamepad charger, I'm going to charge my gamepad, and I'm going to meet you over at 4i Reef. Okay, haha, <laughs> I, I, I told you I'd meet you at 4i Reef, but actually in the hindsight of things. It makes more sense for me to teleport to Windfall and uh, skillfully pick up this treasure chart tre treasure chest thing. Now, I could have I could have surfed south. I should have surfed south. There's a reason why I didn't surf south is because I don't have the treasure chart for that and um, or treasure chart for the treasure chest over there. The other, these other islands I'm going to right now do not have it. However, I also have never been to that island and I feel like I've done enough freaking out, ranting, Zora stuff in this episode. And I should just take this moment to calm down, visit the islands I've already visited, and get those cleared out of the way. So in Spectacle Island, um, there was a treasure tre chest over there with a silver rupee that completely uh, I believe it completely finishes that island. So over here in Mother and Child Isle, or Island, whichever one you want to call, we also have a treasure chart for that. So with that beam of light, we also have something else which I think we'll be able to show. Maybe? Give me a second after I grab this little treasure chest over here. I'm actually doing pretty good now because I'm switching over to the treasure charts real quick. And I could just see Link just pop up into view in that little treasure chart. And it's kinda cool. So here we have another silver rupee. Alright, so. You don't want to teleport to the Mother and Child Island again. Because if you do that, you're gonna be stuck inside of the Mother Island. What you want to do, you have to do the windfall, like, uh, little side quest beginning thing. With the whole trading post thing. Before this happens. So what you want to do is get off your boat, go to your items, go into your mailbag, and grab the town flower. Because over here we have a Gorom merchant. I'm what I'm what's called a traveling merchant. Just a poor wanderer cruising the world in search of rare objects of all sorts, new and old, strange and unsettling. I detect this. I detected a scent wafting from this island that suggested to me that there might be something of value here. So I sailed my tiny raft all this way from far, far away. But the high rock wall on the main island blocks my way, so it seems as though I won't be able to get much farther. What a dis disagreeable turn of events! However, my boy, that delivery bag of yours smells to me as if it might might well be home to rare and unique items. If you would have any curio curios that might be worthy of selling a shop, wow, that was a butcher of words, might you trade them to me? Someday I'm going to open myself a shop. A huge shop. No, a mega superstore! I'm trying to find good, uh, good, goods, 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 not good items. Goods to sell. So can you show me what got 
<sighs> what you've got on you. Here, take my town flower before I screw up any more words. Town flower, right? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this sea flower? Sure! Most agreeable, then my fee will be... Yeah, that'll be 20 rupees on the dot. Sure. Thanks! That squares us. Here's your item, as promised. Hold out both of your hands. Now, I actually don't know if there's a proper order to this. I think there was, and I'm probably not going to follow it. So I apologize. So by trading your goods for my goods, you and I have formed a merchant's oath. So from this moment on forward, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sen sending shipments of my product to the Windfall Island shop. Thanks again! And that does about it for the Mother and Child Island. So with that, um, even though it's already been about maybe 20 mi minutes or so, I am not going to uh, end the episode quite yet. I still want to stop by before I leave. So yeah, I mean the only thing we have to do is pick up a treasure chart over there actually. There is a ring of light, however we do not have the treasure chart for that ring of light and I might as well pick up the treasure chart while I'm here. So after that we will be ending off the episode because I feel like I'm about to go crazy in insanity and frustration and pain. Lots and lots of pain. Anyways, I might want to be sick of water for the rest of my life, even though I'm a Zora. I mean, seriously, there's not really much to do, I get that, but at the same time, this game, you really shouldn't shoot down this game just because of that, unless you're going for 100%, in which case, I'm so sorry. I am horribly, horribly, horribly sorry. That's for why I'm doing it, I don't! Whoa! Ho-ho! 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 I am going crazy. Crazy Zora's going crazy. Jeez, I need to settle myself down and record something that's not going to make me pull hair out of my head. So the entrance is right over here. What you want to do is first make sure you're stocked up on bombs. Um, there's also a bunch of ring of lights here in the middle of the night. So what you want to do is you have these battleships and you also have these cannons on the pillars. You need to take them all out. There is one cannon on each pillar. You want to take them out because if you take them out, well that I already spoiled it so I'm just going to say it. Oh wow, you actually hit me. Um basically the treasure chart that's on this island will appear. And wow, this is really annoying hearing the rings of lights. Like battleship Battleship. There you are. How dare you hide from the Zora. The Zora would like to have an annoyingly angry pissed off word with you. The Zora needs to kill some- oh. Oh, the battleship probably killed the last cannon actually. Okay, so now the- Did that rupee just come flying towards me? Anyways. Distractions, distractions, distractions. The treasure chest appeared on one of the four pillar eye things, whatever you want to call them. So what we want to do is actually get up on the side of the island and go up. Now, my first mistake in my failed recording of me being freaking out was I uh, tried to get the treasure chest from here because it's right over there. Yeah, that's not going to be high enough, so you have to go all the way around the island. It's annoying, I understand. But, um, it's thundering. Why is it thundering? Is the weather annoyed with me about being annoyed with the game? I don't know. Anyways, we just have to get to the other side of the island. Once we get to the other side of the island, we're gonna have to change our wind direction and make sure you pull, it, pull out your deku leaf, otherwise you're gonna have a very bad time and you're gonna have to circle around again. Uh, just get on the very edge of this island. I, I don't even know if you can call this an island anymore. Like It's just a bunch of rocks. A bunch of uninteresting rocks with cannons that want to kill you. Like, who installed the cannons onto these rocks and for what perp- Well, I can't say what purpose because it's probably just to make sure people don't take the treasure chart. Like I'm about to. So change your win. 
And set it to the east, I believe. Now go into your items and pull out your deco leaf. Jump off and sail off. And there we go. I didn't fall this time. Alright, so with that, that ends this episode of Brutal Hell. The sad part is that it's not going to be the only episode of Brutal Hell. In the next episode, I'm going to finish up row 2 of the map as much as I can, and I will I will proceed to work on row 3. So probably for the next episode or two, I'm going to do nothing but uh, side questing stuff for a bit. And then we will head over to the uh, next wind sage that we need to find. Anyways, this is our water signing out. I will see you guys later.